All right, that's better. <laughs> Can you check that and make yeah. sure that yeah. that's working right? It should be. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Hi, Lynn. Okay, great. <laughs> I thought it would flip the camera, but it didn't. It obviously did not. So give people a couple minutes to just find us. You can watch Poppy eat treats, which is her favorite thing right now. You're such a good, good girl. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Joy. Yeah. Can you sit? Can you sit? No, I'm out of here. Oh, you're gonna? You're gonna sit? Your mom's watching. Your mom's watching. Come here. Can you sit? Oh. Okay, let's turn it a little. Let's turn it a little. Hi, <laughs> Em. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce myself while we just kind of wait for other people to join if they're going to join. Um, my name's Megan Terwilliger. I am co-owner of, hi, Jonathan. Um, I'm co-owner of the Soggy Doggy in Norwood, Massachusetts. I am an OPAWS certified creative grooming master. This is Poppy, who's the model of the day. She's a standard poodle. Um, she just turned one years old, so she's a baby. But she's really good. She's owned by another groomer, um, which is awesome. So thank you, Taylor, for letting me use your baby. Um, she is really used to being on the table, obviously, and being groomed, because she's, she's owned by another groomer. But I will tell you, she has never had any creative grooming done to her before, so this will be a first time. Um, I think she's going to be fine, but just in case something goes crazy, <laughs> that's just a heads up for you. Um, also, I want to take a minute to thank Opaz for inviting me to do this demo for you today. Um, I'm going to be doing Valentine's Day theme wings on her. Um, she's going to bail. You going to bail? No? You going to stay? Uh, I also have a friend here. Thank you, Kaylee, for coming and helping me. Um, do video stuff and keep up with the comments and the questions. <laughs> Your mom's talking to you. She says, hi, Poppy. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask, and Kaylee's going to read them to me, so she'll keep me up to date on what's going on. Um, so I think that we should just get started if Poppy wants to. Well, she can do whatever. I'm going to show you my setup first. Um, because that's a, that's a big deal when you're getting ready to start doing a creative. You want to make sure that you have everything that you need before you start. Because you don't want to have dye slathered all over your hands and then decide that you need gloves after that. Or your hair dryer is across the room or your scissors are somewhere else or whatever. So you want to make sure you have everything um, in place before you start. So let me... Here, Pop. You want your treats? Come here. Let me flip the camera and I'm going to show you. Can I flip the camera? I hope I can flip the camera. That's the that's the goal. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know if I can flip it. Yes, I can flip it. Okay, so everything that I'm using today is by Opaz. Um, so I have the hot red, semi, uh, hot red permanent, adorable pink permanent, charm pink permanent, um, shocking pink, is semi-permanent and then I have this super black um, and I have this is just what I do but I have a different paintbrush for every color that I use because I don't want to get things mixed up I also over here on my table have the dyes already out in the buckets except for the black because I wanted to show you guys how to mix that um, also I have my design so this is what we're gonna do today and I will show it to you. Poppy's like, what is this? That's you. That's you. Okay, Pops, get move. All right, so I flipped the design and printed
it out so I can see it for both sides because I am going to try and do both sides of that. So I also have, so Poppy's comfortable. I have a paw mat on my table and I'm going to cover it with a towel so my paw mat doesn't get full of dye. Um, but just so she's as comfortable as she can be, that's what I am doing. Thank you, Lynn, that the design's lovely. I'm glad. Um, it will obviously be in color. <laughs> it's printed in black and white. Okay. So I'm going to, do you think it's easier for me to hand this to you this way or you can sure. yeah. figure you it out? To flip it? This is the flip if you need to, or you can just hold it like that. Yeah. Oh, Hello, hi. Emily. She said hi to me, Megan, to me. Oh. <laughs> this is Kaylee Greer here from Dog Breath Photography. This is my hand. <laughs> you guys should check her page out too. No. <laughs> There's some people out there. Hello, yes, friends. <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> so when I draw out, usually on paper, I obviously don't have the proportions of the dog that I'm working on um, perfect. So the design doesn't always translate well. So I have a picture of Poppy here in this haircut that she's in right now. And I can actually see like exactly on her body where this is going to fit. However, sometimes when you get started, if you start, like if I start this part at... A weird angle or it's like not in the exact right place all of this stuff is is maybe not gonna line up exactly like this but that is okay um, she's cut in a number seven blade I usually do if I'm doing a tattoo like this she's cut in a seven blade um, and it's pretty short depending on the length of you know what your dog's skin can handle you can go shorter you can go nine you can go a ten it totally depends on your dog as an individual but I find that um, with curly coated dogs that are straightened like this, that the, the seven works just fine for me. Um, also, this design, I'm gonna show you this actually, would be really cool. Also, if she had a coat and you can carve the feathers and the wings into the coat, I did do that um, on my friend's dog, Dobby. Can you kind of come in here? Um, so I don't know if you can really tell, that was, you know, I don't remember what length he was, but I kind of carved in the feathers first. Um, he was a Cupid, which is kind of the same theme that I'm going for here. And then I actually airbrushed all of the feathers individually and then did a Cupid arrow on his leg. Um, so you can do that. That's just a lot more work. And I know that um, I just wanted to do kind of a, a more simple tattoo today. Um, I'll show you some other ideas too, because the whole point of doing this live for you today is to hopefully give you some sort of inspiration for something that you guys can do on your dogs or your client dogs for Valentine's Day. Um, so feel free to use any of these, it's totally cool. Um, so like I said, I did Cupid. I did this on my dog, it's the mom tattoo. Um, I've done them before also with the owner's name inside. Um, one time I did it on my friend's dog and she did it with her dad's name to surprise him. This is the design that I'm doing today in color. So like I showed you the black and white paper. This is the design in color. And I, I did a couple different variations of color. Some has red feathers, some just has a red heart, whatever. You can choose. Um, this was another one, pink feet, or pink, you know, pink toes, a little heart on the ear. Um, that's another idea. It's more kind of like graffiti art looking. Um, I drew out this one too. This one I really love and I wanted to do, but this being Poppy's first time, I also, if she moves a little bit and I was doing a straight line on her, that would look horrible if she moved. Um, so just with a dog that I, I've never died before, I wouldn't try and go crazy with like something straight like that. But if you have a dog that you know that you can do that too, go for it, because that's gonna look really cool. 
um, and this was another way. So um, also I took into factor Taylor, who's um, the owner of the dog, what she wants to live with, because that's important too. So make sure you're always asking um, if you're doing a client's dog, what they want on their dog for, you know, a couple of months, because we know that that's how long they want. So let's get started. Um, you can do this a couple of different ways. I'm gonna, the super black, all right, I'm gonna tell you something about the super black. Opaz and other dye companies make blacks. This is the only black that is really, really good. If you want a true dark black, 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 use Opaz super black. This is what the box looks like. Opaz super black. Don't go getting their blue black thinking it's gonna be black black because it's not gonna be black black, it's gonna be blue black. You can make that mistake all the time. <laughs> you want blue black, get blue black. But it is bluish black, it is not black black. This is black black. Okay, but this is not like a squeeze it out of the bottle kind of a thing. Um, you have to mix it up. So I'm gonna show you how to mix it too. Can you kind of come in here? Mm -hmm. All right, so there's two bottles. And forgive me, Opaz, because there may be an exact science to this, but I don't use one. So I just kind of make it up as I go. But um, it comes out in a cream color. I don't know why it's a little bit black right now, probably because I've used it before and it's been exposed to air. So I'm going to make more than I think that I need because that's just what I do. So squeeze a blob in there. It usually is like, oops, well, there you go. Also, this gets everywhere. So make sure... If you don't want dye on your clothes, wear black clothes and wear an apron. So Opa's provided me with those awesome aprons. So I will wipe everything on that. I will wipe everything on this towel. Make sure you have towels, paper towels, gloves, anything that you may want um, to use. I'm not going to probably use gloves, but I do have them here just in case. But this will stay for a little while, a couple days. <laughs> so anyway, you put in this cream, that like creamy paste stuff first, and then you shake up this bottle which is the developer, I believe. And it's more of like a liquidy thing. And you just kinda plop that right on in there. And then you stir it all up. And it's gonna be cream, it's gonna be white to start right now because it had that little tinge of black to it, it's already getting black, so it's not gonna show you exactly what I wanted it to show you, but if you mix this up um, for the first time that you use it, like I just used a pre-opened container just not to waste it. I don't want to open it for a new one. But if, if I were just doing this out of a brand new bottle, it's going to be like a cream color to start. And that's fine. It will turn black. Um, it'll just develop slowly. So you can just mix it until it's like a really nice consistency. And if it were just turning to like a little bit of a gray tinge to it, you can still put that on the dog. It will continue to develop while it's on the dog. So if you're throwing it and you're like, oh crap, this is like not really black. It's kind of like a cream gray. You just wait 10 minutes and you're gonna look back at that spot and it's going to be black. So don't fret, it will change to the color that you need to. So it's already, you can see black, black, black. And it will keep getting a little bit darker. So those are the colors I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start applying with this first. Let me just move this over here. Um, I don't know. Just like, I don't know. Haley's, it's all up to Haley. <laughs> it looks good to me. Okay. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> Still on and, and drying. It shouldn't be like 
it should maybe be a teeny bit tacky. Um, but I'll just be really careful when I go around the edges not to get the black into the color that I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, you just gotta kind of find where to start and find the spot where you wanna start where a um, little crest here kind of ends right about where the heart's gonna be and she's got this shoulder here. So um, that doesn't show up obviously in the picture because I drew over it. So you wanna make sure that you've got whatever room that you want Make sure you have enough room to do your design. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it. And like I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to just ask them. This is not like a super, super technical design. I tried to make it sort of easy. So um, even new people can try to start doing something like this. I just find that the black makes the, um, the color or the, the design pop when you're doing it on a, like as a tattoo on a flat, flat shaped coat. It, See if you can speak up a little. Oh, um, speak up a little. Pretty Paws Pet Salon says. Pretty Paws, that's Timo. Okay. <laughs> they say they can't hear too well. Can't hear too well. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> you like it when I scream at you, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So my heart has one, two, three, four, five feathers first around it. So I always um, go with the coat as much as I can. Poppy's like, what are you doing to me, lady? Way better on the volume, Megan. Awesome. Good Thank job. <laughs> so when you're doing an outline, it's okay. It's okay. It's no problem. Um, obviously, it's not as easy on a coat. I'm talking when you're doing an outline on a dog's coat. It is not always as easy as the as just picking up a pencil and drawing it on paper because their fur obviously grows in different directions. So sometimes you just have to like lay the brush, if you can see what I'm kind of doing, and, and like dab it. I'll do whatever works. Like right now I'm kind of doing, you're okay. She's like, this feels weird. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, lady? You want to watch Poppy? I wish you could. Also be like kind of over dramatic about if you're doing like a heart shape or something, be a little over dramatic about um I don't know how to say that, the shape of it I guess. Because if you do too much dye, you're gonna just end up with a circle if you get too detailed with it. Good girl, Poppy. She's being really good. Any questions so far? Just a comment. Poppy is famous. Poppy is famous. Poppy, you hear that? You heard it first. You have to saw the doggy. All right, so here's the heart, right? So that's kind of how it's gonna start. So now I need to kind of add my feathers. And the top of this goes a little bit above that heart, right? And But I don't want it to go too far into her top line either. So, you know, you can kind of, you do how you want. I'm gonna do each feather individually first, but you could do this arch and then this arch and then this whole thing. So you make sure like that kind of ends right where her bone is right here. So you could do that whole fit line first. So you know exactly where your thing is going to end. Um, but I like to... Uh, a couple comments about can't hear you super well. So just oh, speak up man. again. Just try and yell. Yell everything you're thinking. Yell it all. <laughs> Full volume so scream. Loud, She'll right love it. <laughs> I know, I'm behind your butt. That's scary. Oh, I'll go over lady. here. Stay where I can see you. <laughs> uh, you could also go whoop. 
You could also do this in the color first and you can't sit. I'm sorry, Pop. I'm sorry. Not right yet. Um, you could go through and do this in the colors first and then add the black lines because the super black will legit go over everything. So you could do it that way too. That's just not how I roll. I roll this way. So that's how we're doing it. And here's one feather. My here's a question. Oh, sure. Go. If you make a mistake, yes. is there any way to remove the dye before it sets? Not really. Not great. Not this. Not the black. Um, you can try. I guess my favorite thing to do for that would actually try and be to just like cut that teeny little piece out. Because if you go in with something wet and you're like, oh shit, I gotta get that with the, you know, with water and paper towel, you are going to spread that all around and make it way worse. You can try to kind of just like squeeze it and pick it and pull it maybe a little bit, like if it's just a teeny bit of a drop, but um, you're just gonna have to go with it because you're working on a dog. Sometimes it's not perfect. Sometimes they move. Sometimes you get started and the dog hates it and you just have to go with it. I mean, if, if it's a client's dog, you just make sure, if it's a client's dog, I always explain these um, things to them first. Obviously, a dog can have a reaction to absolutely any products that you use on it. Can you hear me? Is it, I, I think so. Okay. Um, a dog can have a reaction to any product, shampoo, conditioner, dye, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Any dog at any time, even if it's never had a reaction to something before, it can have a reaction to, to, to a product. So if I'm dealing with a client, I make that explicitly clear. Um, that you know if your dog's never had this done before this could happen um i also we all know if we're in this group we all know that not everybody loves creative and some people think it's horribly mean and abusive because it's so so mean um but if it's a client who doesn't know that because they're not in the creative grooming world or the grooming world at all they might get really upset if they're walking their dog down the street and somebody's like why would you do that so make sure that they are aware that not everybody may love this. Um, those are just some tips while we're doing this. That's what I would do. But to go back and answer your question, there's really not a great way to take dye out without just like kind of cutting into it. And hopefully it's just a teeny little blob that that happens and it's nothing crazy. Um, this dye, Opa's dye is really actually pretty good. It's, it's uh, not pretty good. It's what I mean by that is the texture of it is pretty good because it's it's a uh, liquidy enough that it's malleable. So you can it'll work with you. It'll move, um, but it's not too liquidy that it's like you put it on your brush and it's like dripping off of your brush all over your dog because that can be um, that can be a problem. Some dyes are like that. Um, Opaz is not. Opaz is a great great dye. So I'm just getting into the top feathers here. And you can kind of see that this is gray, a little bit more dark gray, and this that I did first is already turning way more black, right? Can you guys see that? So now I'm gonna go to the second row. I'm gonna show you my design again. That's the first row. Again, it's like not exactly perfectly what I drew, but it's great. It's working. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this row, which is four. Um, and so that one, it kind of starts, I have it so the feathers kind of layer, you're okay, layer coming out of like the middle of another one in the row before it. So I'm going to do it like that. And it looks like it kind of comes maybe like to around here. So I'm going to try to go for that. And this row is going to be a teeny bit bigger feather than the first row, but not crazy. If you're doing a dog like a lab or something like that that has a short coat but you can't really cut it, um, you're gonna wanna dab your brush, like do the side of the brush instead of trying to paint it more like what I'm doing right now. So in order for me to finish this feather, I actually need to do the feather above it first. Hi, thank you, Smooch. Want to make out on camera? <laughs> <laughs>
She ruined it. She ruined the moment with a giggle. It definitely did. Wow. It was too exciting. <laughs> wow. Well, getting famous making out. Paparazzi's gonna be here anytime. <laughs> Catching us making out. What will they say? What will they say? No more questions. You guys are quiet. How long would it take uh, to grow out to where the next haircut would take it off? That totally depends on the individual dog and uh, how quick their fur grows. If this were a client's dog, this is a groomer's dog, obviously, like I said before, so she knows what it's, you know, it may last until whatever, however long it must last. I would say, because she's in a seven, if the dog regularly gets cut in a seven and is in maybe like seven weeks, you probably get most of it off. Um, I'd say about seven weeks if you're doing like a super short cut. But again, it depends on the individual dog. If you were coat carving, if this was like I showed you on um, that standard poodle Dobby that I did the um, carved out red wings on, you can just shave it right off. You can shave the carved part right off most of the time. Hi. Hi. All right, so you've got to kind of stay straight. So the, also be aware of like the position of your dog when you're drawing something. So like right now she was, well, she's not going to do it now, but she was, she had her head over here. Come here. And you can see that it changes what her body's doing. So, hey, what are you doing with that paintbrush? Poppy likes to eat random things. She was just over there eating my plant and taking mouthfuls of dirt out of the, out of the planter. Yeah, go show them. Go show them the, the dirt. <laughs> Big chunks of dirt missing. What a lady. What a true proper lady. She doesn't care. How much would you typically charge Poppy? Well, I love this question. You have to charge what you think that you are worth and what your time is worth. And for me, I charge, for something like this, I would charge a dollar a minute for how long it takes from me. So I would start with the time when everything's out and I, for a year, okay. I first put the dye, like putting the dye on the dog. From the minute I start doing that, the clock starts, you're okay, Bob, you're okay. Um, that, my time for this also includes the 25 minutes that it takes to let the dye sit. Turn your head, Bob. Hey, come, good girl. Um, this, the dye has to sit for like 25 minutes or so um, to, to set. So let's just say for this wing, for example, obviously this, this part that I did first is gonna be on there for as long as it takes me to groom, you know, finish doing this groom. Um, the very last thing I apply has to sit for 20 more minutes. So if it took me, if I just did a heart and it took me five minutes to draw it on and 25 minutes for it to sit on, I'm gonna charge 30 bucks for it. Cause I have to sit here and stand here with the dog waiting and that's my time and you're paying me for my time. If I use, this never happens cause customers only really want, my customers only really want pretty simple things like little tattoo stuff. They don't generally want like full blown creative rooms like you see at competitions and stuff. They just don't like it. Um, they don't want to live with something that long. So if, if I do that and it takes a whole bottle of dye, I'd also charge them for the product, but I don't charge them for the product if it's just something easy, like a little heart, like a lot of people like little hearts on the bottom or a shamrock at St. Patrick's Day or ears or tails, like whatever solid color like that. So another question for you from sure. Emily. Yep. Uh, if Poppy moves and smudges the dye, what's the best way to keep that under control? For example, if she gets dye on her ear and then it gets on her neck, what's the best move to stop a dye disaster? Oh. Well, um, there is a, a product called cholesterol. I have some of it. 
I don't typically use it, um, but you can use it. It's like a really thick, I'll just show it to you. This poppy will stay still. This is my creative corner over here, guys. This, this stuff is super thick. It's kind of disgusting, honestly. I don't love this. But it's like a weird kind of thick cream. Um, if you, for example, are trying to do something on an ear, right, and the, and the chances are that she might shake her head, I'd slather the top of her head and the top of the other ear with this. So if she does shake it, it's hitting a boatload of this cholesterol stuff, and that typically does get it right up. This is also something that, for whoever asked the question before, if you get a drop of dye somewhere, is there anything that takes it out? You could try to apply a little bit of like a conditioner to just kind of dilute it um, and get it out. But if it were me, I'd just cut it. So like technically, doing this, I could slather all of like underneath. Some people go crazy and while they're rinsing, they're afraid that like it's gonna rinse all down the leg and get all down in the collar. Like the Opaz dye really doesn't do that. The red kind of does that. But if you rinse it properly and rinse it long enough, it's not going to stick. Um, you can also just like wrap the dog's legs in a cling wrap, um, wrap a towel around it when you're rinsing, anything like that to prevent the, the dye. From, does that answer your question, Em? Um, prevent the dye from being a disaster and getting everywhere. Just know what you're doing. Think about what you're doing before you do it. That's a huge thing. I think a lot of people get excited and they're just like, I'm going to dye my dog's tail red. Okay, red's a tricky color because if you just put red on the tip of her tail, because red's your favorite color, think about what that might look like when you're walking down the street. People might think your dog has an injury on the tail or feet on the ear. Like if you just slather, like think about what you're doing before you, before you apply stuff. Like think it out, plan it out a little. Lynn says you can also apply the O Paws isolation cream to avoid the oh, color. Lynn, I For what you're for, for what you're asking, I just didn't know about it. Um, so you could totally use that. What's it called again? Isolation cream. Isolation cream. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, here's a question from Sam. Sure. If you're dyeing an entire dog a solid color, would you use a paint roller? <laughs> sure, Sam. I would use a paint roller. Um, no. So Opa's actually. I know you're kidding, Sam. But Opa's actually really good at dyeing color shampoo now, which if we have time, I'm going to kind of surprise you guys, but if we have time, I'm going to try and do that on her feet. Um, and the shampoo um, has dye in it and everything, and it has to sit, you soak it all up and you mix it all up in the, wherever you're applying it, so it's really good even distribution of color um, for an all over dye job if you wanted to do that. Or you could use a paint roller. You could just use a paint roller like good old Sam. I'd like to see Sam die dog. <laughs> All right, so I'm working on these bigger feathers at the end here. Poppy's being so good, Taylor, if you're still watching. Be proud of your baby. She's like, yeah, when am I getting my next cookie? <laughs> right now. Right now. Oh, this is, that's something I do. Don't do this. I've done this before. I've had the paintbrush in my mouth and turned around and right across. Could have been, you could have had a little smudge on your face, but we lucked out this time. So this one has three feathers, right? So that's the top one. This is the beginning of the bottom one. So I gotta make the middle one. And I want the tip, you can do it however you want, but I want my tips to kind of come down at an angle. I don't want them to all end in the same spot, so. Everybody is thrilled that Pop Me is getting cookies. Yes, good. 
Keep the cookies coming. Keep the cookies coming, you guys. Make sure your dog's happy, okay? Like, don't do this to, I know, um, you don't know until you know, right? So it's, there's always gonna be a dog's first time for being died, right? You have to start somewhere. Um, but if the dog does not like it, just stop. It does not matter. Oh, see, like, here's this little trickle. A little driplet. Could have been bad, guys. Could have been bad. Um, what was I saying? Know, know your dog. So if you're working on a dog and it's their first time and you're like so excited and you've got this cool design started and in the middle they start going batshit and they're not happy, stop. Stop what you're doing because this is totally meant to be fun and like for dogs that like it, like like the attention. This is not meant for dogs that are like super nervous who are gonna get, like if you have a dog that's super shy with people or like straight up terrified of people, this may not be the best thing because you're gonna be walking down the street and that dog is gonna get looked at. It's gonna, it, everybody's gonna wanna pet it. Everybody's gonna want their picture with it. Um, so just, just make sure that you are considerate because we're lucky that they are so tolerant of the things that we do. So give them cookies, give them breaks, give them whatever that they need. If you think they're uncomfortable, just stop. Like I, like I said at the beginning, she's never had this done before. Um, there you go, there you go guys. Black in the ear. I'm just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it alone. We're not gonna do it again, but we're just gonna leave it alone. We'll see what happens with that later. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but be fair. Just be fair to the dog. You got a hashtag preach on that one. Preach! <laughs> Poppy needs a cookie, guys. Hold on. Poppy's fan club's ready for her to get cookies. Poppy needs cookies. Okay, so in my design, I do have detail in the feathers that will also be in black. Like I have little dashes in these and a couple dots just to give the feather a little bit of dimension. Um, I'm gonna wait to do that until I've done the color. So now I'm gonna kind of flop over. I'm gonna get my other design that I have Candy Dandy, that is the other side of Poppy. This I've never done before, I'll tell you. This is like the best thing I've ever done, is print out the design flopped. Because most of the time I draw it once, I'm like, cool, I love that. And then I do it, and then I get to the other side, and I'm like, hmm, now I'm completely backwards. Where does this start? Where does this line up? It is so helpful to have this. So now I'm going to get rid of this for now. Jim wants to know if you can dye a hairless dog. Ooh, I'm going to say no. I mean, I think that you probably could. I would not. I would not. I, a hairless dog, hairless dogs tend to have, like, super sensitive skin with their blackheads and all of the stuff they have. I'm just moving my foot, babe. No, babe. No, lady. Um, I don't know if, if that light will reach over here and or if we need it, but... I will tell you. Let's try. You let me know. Let's try. Um, also, I don't... Oh, go ahead. Mike. I don't think we need it. Don't think we need it. Okay, great. Um, I don't remember if I already said this or not. So, I dye clean dogs. You, A lot of people dye them dirty, and it works just fine. I've done that, and it looks like shit. I never do that. Don't do that. Um, usually, if it's a client's dog... They're here for grooming anyway. So they'll get a wash. Um, they will not get conditioner. Do not condition the dog if you're gonna put color on it. Um, you can put conditioner on after, but it will close the hair follicle. So um, wash the dog, do not use conditioner, dry it. So a lot of, like I said, a lot of my people like just like little tattoos on the butt. So what I'll do is wash the dog, dry the dogs, and I will groom whatever length that dog is gonna be for the day, I'll groom that spot and dye it first. So while it is sitting, I'm able to work on the rest of the dog's haircut. Um, Poppy's getting fidgety. You're okay. 
puppy's cookies. Yeah. You want me to get them? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Cookie mission. Yeah. This is good stuff. See? All right. Hang on. I'll give them to you. Where can you keep them? I thought you were going to give them to her. Oh, I can give them to her. <laughs> Sorry. Well, technical difficulties. <laughs> I am not the star of this show, Megan. That is you. All right. I'll give her one. Poppy, we're going to do this. Wow. Hi, sweetheart. Go, love. Good girl. Good girl. Someone asked, um, how do you keep them from licking it off? Who, like while you're doing it? Like while you're drawing it on? I'm not sure. There's, it's not. She hasn't specified, okay, but she I might. I don't know if you mean while it's on the dog. I've not ever had a dog that's done that. So I would just discard them. Or I'd, if you have a table. Hold on. We're having some problems. Pop. What do you think? What do you think? You getting restless? All right, you know what? I'm gonna change my plan for a second. Cause Poppy's getting restless. I don't know if it's just because she's um, bored or what. I did take her out to potty beforehand. But what I'm gonna do, just for the sake of time, just in case I don't have time to do her other dye, her other wing for you, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the color on this side really quickly because it really won't take that long. So I already have it mixed up. So I need to give Poppy a cookie to the face. Um, if you can print, I would have printed those in color, but I forgot to do it at home. They don't have a color printer here. So I am just getting my, um, my color version of that available. Hey, you guys pick for me. I don't know which one to do. Um, the one with a red heart with red feathers or <laughs> She's like, give me these cookies. Or Red Heart with all pink feathers. Does anybody have any opinions on that? Mix the red in with the feathers or not? Yes, yes, mix the red in? Okay. So I'm going to do this. So that's going to be, that's my choice. The first. Roberto Garcia says the first. All right, Roberto. You got it. You got it, baby. Trish says number two. Oh, uh oh. You know what? <laughs> Roberto was first. Trish, so she's, she's getting what you want. All right. So I actually think I'm going to do the, the heart to be red, though. Joy says red heart, pink feathers. Oh, another vote for the red heart. Okay. Well, red heart's going in. And then I'm going to put red feathers, too. All right. So this is pretty. Oh, we're getting twitchy skin. Got a lot of answers here. Everybody has the thoughts on this. Got oh, another red heart, pink feathers. Yes. The Roberto, first one. Roberto, I think you might be in trouble. The first one, and then I got a number one from Jessica. Oh, I don't even remember which one is number one. I don't you either. Remember? Me neither. You guys got to Oh, David says red heart. I see. The thing is, there's a slight lag on this too, oh, from when okay, you okay. asked the question until when people could actually answer. Okay. Red heart with mixed feathers. Uh oh, Veronica says pink heart. We're going red heart. I think it's All too right. late, Veronica. Right. Too deep. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So first, I'm just putting it not all the way to the edge. Because that black, if it gets in this, will, will go all through my heart. Um, oh, somebody was asking me a question about how to keep a dog from looking this. I was just thinking, too. If you had a table... Against the wall where you had something. That was so close. Um, yeah, be, like, be aware. Your dog just put a step in the die too, which is not the end of the world, but make sure you know what you're up to. If you have, you guys ever seen those licky mats? They're like those, these rubber, um, I don't know, they're weird textured rubber things, little mats that they make and you can slather like peanut butter or something in it or cream cheese or like your dog's favorite treats and everything all in it. Um, you could, you could slather a licky mat and put that like right here. Um, so the dog could uh, be licking that instead of the dog. So, Kayla, if you want to come up a little bit close. Oh, we're going to hold hands. No, nope, we're not going to hold hands. She's just like, I don't want to hold hands. Do you need a break, Poppy? 
So when I come up here, I'm just going slow and kind of turning the brush in, or you can kind of do the pat technique like that. All right, so remember how I said you guys should always put the dog before everything else? That's what we're gonna do right now. So Pop is probably a little bit bored with being on the table, which is fine. I'm not super worried about, um, I'd be more worried about letting her out, letting her off the table. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't want her to get dye everywhere. Um, if she had it like, I don't know, on her feet, I wouldn't put her down. I'd put her in the tub and rinse it off and whatever color it was, that would be the end of it. But I'm not too super concerned. She loves this. I'm not super concerned that she's gonna like rub her side up against something. So we're just gonna give Poppy a little bit of a break. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, it's the Poppy Show. You gonna let me finish this? Andrea says, take your time. We are enjoying this so much. Thanks, Andrea. Good girl. I mean, the cool thing is, if she moves to the side, if I can just finish that red heart, that's still pretty cool. You can also add airbrush. Like, think about things that are quicker, right? I don't, I think I have the ability to do that. Um, you can always just rinse this, try it another day, um, try it later. I'm, I'm gonna still try to do it. Um, I'm just giving you guys options if this happens to you and it's like a client star or something. Taylor, Taylor, her mom knows full well, I told her I was, uh, no matter what, I'm always gonna put Poppy before the sake of this video. Um, so if this is the end of it, this is the end of it. But if this were a client's dog, then you could rinse it out, be done with it, you could, um, try to have the dog come back the next day and and redo the diet. Get your ball. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. You could try to airbrush it. Come to, oh, we've got some dye. She did slather it a little bit. I'm not worried about it. You can't be picky. Sometimes you can't be picky. You can get in my safe floppy. When you said pat technique, Poppy was giving her paw. <laughs> so cute. Come up. Come up. All right, let's see if she'll let us get a little bit more of this done. So, like right now, I've sort of already moved this. I said to you guys if I had time that I was going to do Come here. the shampoo. I'm not going to do that because she, whether she's bored or She's just done. I mean, she's been here with me since two o'clock, so just hanging out. She might just be like, you know, I don't know what her daily routine is. This could be her dinner time. This could be um, whatever. I took her out, so she should be fine for that. But let's just try to get this done. You're okay. Let's at least finish this heart. What do you think? What do you think, Pop? All right, so yeah, there's a little dab. And I could kind of like roll the brush a little bit. Good girl. Hey Taylor, if you're watching still, can you tell me what you want me to do with her? Do you want me to, you know her behavior better than I do. So I don't know if she's just like absolutely had it, which is totally fine with me. Don't feel bad about it. Um, just tell me what you think she's, if she's asking for something, what you think she might be asking for. Or if you just think she's done, which is cool, whatever. 
you can chime in if you're watching. Let's give her a couple cookies. I'm coming around. Yeah, give her a coming around with cookies. Just let me know if Taylor says anything. I will. Nothing yet. She might not be here, but there's a bit of a lag. Yeah, she might not be here. I just want to know before I start. Um, the pink. Yeah, do, adding anything else to it. Emily says, Poppy is doing an amazing job, although Emily may not be her owner. <laughs> I'm not sure. Emily. Taylor says, I had to go upstairs for a moment. Try holding a treat and letting her eat it out of your hand. Okay. We've been doing that, but she's still getting a little fussy. And she keeps giving me her paw. I don't know if she's just, like, get me off the table or give me more cookies. You're, like, totally lacking on the cookie delivery to my milk ratio of nine. That's kind of thing. We think. Cameo. 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 <laughs> so what I can do, I suppose, while we're waiting to see what she'll tolerate, is I can go back and just do those little um, quick black markings really quickly. Taylor thinks she may have to go pee. Okay. So I'm going to just add these real quick then. We might just change our plan a little bit, guys. These are nothing, nothing crazy, nothing special, right? Good girl, you might have to pee. I'm just gonna give you a dot, dot, dot. I'm trying to speed this up for you, Pop. She's distracted when there's cards outside. I have big windows in the front of my shop, which is lovely actually during the day. You don't feel like you're in a cube. Except you know what people like to do is they like to come up and bang on the windows and tell us how cute the dogs are while we have scissors in our hands, which I know you groomers will understand is maddening. The dogs are like, what people? They jump. Okay. So we're altering our plan. I was going to originally just do the black and then go through and do the color. What I'm going to do right now is I just put that on. Honestly, I could probably rinse this in the next couple of minutes and that black that I just applied will still stay black. That, I'm telling you, that super black is amazing. Um, but what I'm going to do is take her out to pee. You guys can come with me if you want, or we can kind of... This is very exciting, compelling stuff. Super compelling. I say, let's just follow you, and if anyone wants to come, they can come. All right, yeah, you guys, you're along for the ride today. This is really exciting. Give it a potty break, did you? <laughs> Bonus. Top quality programming. Bonus. This is top quality TV. So she wears a harness, but she cannot obviously wear a harness right now. Oh, that's a big old stretch. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know how many people are watching Pop, but people are going to watch you pee. There are at least 51 people watching her do her, her business. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get great lighting for this guy, but no, it looks like pretty crappy lighting. But we'll, see, we'll see what we get. I don't even know if the internet's going to happen. Come on out. All right. Oh, there's some good lighting. Sabrina thinks it looks great how it is, right, so which I agree. It's amazing. That's the thing, is you gotta kind of go with it and be flexible. So if this is all it is, that's all it is. That's, it's up to Poppy. 
and not a single pee was had. <laughs> At least not so far, let's see. Working with dogs, man, this is how it goes, huh? You gotta do what you gotta do, huh, sunshine? When nature calls. <laughs> Meanwhile, Megan's out here with no coat and a t-shirt in January in the middle of snow-filled city. Wow, wow, Poppy, this is really compelling. I think she just wants her own TV show. She's like, hey guys, what's <laughs> I think uh, it's about time. It's happening. No, maybe not. So, is she scratching her design? No. Okay. She's scratching her neck, but not her side. I gotcha. Well, guys, thanks for your patience. What a fun development. Taylor says sometimes she just wants to trot around outside, yeah. just a heads up. You know what? I think she does kind of want to try. And again. then she said that should simmer her down, so maybe you can try again. Okay. Oh, she's cool. having a good time now. It's I now it's snowball could, time. I wish it was fenced in so we could just let her off and have a romp. But I'm gonna say that design looks incredible. Thank you. Welcome. Are you freezing, Megan? Yeah, I'm pretty cold. <laughs> All right, let's go back. <laughs> all right, this is all the behind the scenes, right. the VIP behind the scenes experience. <laughs> you pay for this stuff. You pay for this. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're back, baby, into the heat. We are back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How long do you think it will take you to fill it? She has to kind of sit there. Can she play with her ball while she sits with it? Or are you too afraid she'll smudge it? Yeah, I don't care if she... If she... Let's try. Let's just get her on the table, and before we start doing anything, we'll just like give her a minute. Come on, pop. Puppy. Oh, oh that Puppy. was beautiful. Wow. You're a, like gazelle. Graceful. <sighs> Guys, I'm chilled. It's cold. That was, that's pretty cold though. Okay. So you can see we got some black here. We got some wow. smudge in here. I anticipate that I can get that off with a seven, maybe a little bit. I can put in like shave it off with a little bit of a nine. All right, so let's just see. So, um, oh, and a little black over here. Look at this. She's just being an abstract. Look at that. Oh, this is by Poppy's design. Little, yeah, this is by Poppy. <laughs> Abstract. Oh, look, we found some more. Totally fine, you guys. You just can't panic about things like that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, what I'm going to do right now, and what you can do if you have a dog that's never been dyed before, they're going to go fly with a paintbrush. Take one that has nothing on it. Make sure it has nothing on it, because it has nothing on it. And just kind of go with this. You know, see how they are about like, cause that can tickle. So some dogs are like, what is that? What is that? that? Um, so like right now, before I actually put the color on, I'm just seeing if she has the reaction like she had a couple minutes ago, and she's not. So I think we can probably finish at least putting the color on. What do you think? I think we can. 
So, what was I doing? This is the red, right? Yeah. What did we decide, you guys? Red heart, all pink feathers? Be clear. Red heart, all pink feathers? Or red heart with red and pink feathers? Giving you all a second chance here. For those of you who did not win the last time, tell me what you want. Good girl. Anybody? Red heart mixed. That's what Lynn says. Lynn? Oh, fuck Lynn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Sabrina says pink feathers. Mix of red and pink. All right, we got two. From Jessica, who has beautiful pink hair, I can Good see one. herself. So she's a pink fan. Okay, uh, Joy says all pink. Pretty Paws Pet Salon says mixed. Sam says red heart with red and pink. You guys are killing me. Red and pink. All right, red and pink it is. Multicolored right. feathers, rainbow, someone said. <laughs> oh my God. I could do that, but that's not very Valentine's. That kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, so... Um, Someone likes it how it is now. They say, don't, don't change it. I know. I don't like the way that it is now, but it's cool when it's all colored. You'll see. Oh, man. Um, we're getting votes. Red and pink, red and pink. Red and pink, red and pink. All pink. pink. All pink. Oh, shit. You guys. Not a very decisive crowd. I think we're going to go mixed here. Can we see the pictures of it one more time? Sure. Just the one last? Sure. Because I can't remember what's what, to be honest with you. Sure. So. That's the mix. That's the mixed feathers. Okay. That's all pink. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, this is the last time to make your just changing your votes is this is the only time to do it if you want to. <laughs> all pink. All right. We'll just go all oh, pink. Oh, red and pink. <laughs> I was going to go mixed, but let's just go pink. Since it's not a terribly productive questionnaire, we'll just let you pick. How about that, Megan? Okay. We're just going <laughs> pink. And uh, I'm just going every other. Okay. So what, you have two different shades of I pink? I have three. Um, I just don't really know how long she's going to stay for this, so. <laughs> you guys, she's doing all the shit that you wanted to know what happens. She's doing it all. <laughs> she's sat in it. Which it's is okay. fine. It's fine. Just on her foot. It's fine. Okay. I'm going quick pop, I promise. Then you can play with your ball and slather this all over the place and make it a beautiful disaster groom. Okay. You're okay. So I got a little bit of black in that pink. Which is what I didn't want to do. That's why I didn't originally do those, but I thought maybe we just solved the problem. What a party. You gotta just go with it, dude. You can't care. You're making me look bad, Pop. You're making me look bad. Yeah, maybe, maybe Kaylee can... Coming around with the cookies. Do some treat delivery. Stay there, Pop. Good girl. You guys can just look at Poppy for a second. What a girl. What a face. A beauty girl. Oh, she's trying to sit. That's my bad because I held the treat too long. My bad. In my line of work, I'm always trying to get dogs to sit. <laughs> Not stand. Yeah, so Kaylee is a professional dog photographer. You guys might know who she is. She's got dog breath photography. Woo! Dogs, dogs, dogs. Am I right? Shout out to Greer. Aww. You guys know who dog breath is. Thank you, Megan. That's sweet. All right. We're coming back around. Just a couple more treats to keep her happy. I'm just going to try to, like, really space them out. Yeah. You're like telling me. Good girl, Bobby. Can you wait? Wait. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but on, right now it's important to just get this color on because we've got it while she's, and keep her happy. Like, I don't think she's miserable right now, but we just want to keep her happy. I think she's just bored is what it is. She's like, I'm done. This is all the same color. This is the adorable pink. It's that, yeah, middle one. Any questions? Any questions about our time out in the snow? Anything else? Nothing yet, but maybe coming through, there's a 
little Anybody leg. Anybody want to share any ideas that they might have for what they're doing for Valentine's Day? She's kind of settled down a little bit, actually. So I'm just going around that black, and I'm just trying to be really careful. I'm, I am trying to rush this a little bit. I'm not going to lie, because I want her to just be comfortable and be done. But I want to make sure that you guys can kind of get the effect of what's going on here. Um, There's a question from Catherine. Can sure. any hair or fur type be dyed? Um, I, I think yes. I think that it really terrier coat is kind of challenging because the texture of that coat, if they have a really hard, hard texture, like they're a dog that gets hand stripped, which is great. It preserves their natural um, coat texture. Those, those kinds of um, coats don't soak up the dye super well, but it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, it's like any, you, you don't know until you know, right? I don't do typically a lot of terriers. I have a lot of um, poodle clients who like this kind of stuff or doodles. So they typically have this kind of coat. And when I, that mom tattoo that I showed you before that I did was on our Rhodesian Ridgeback, that's my dog. And that was done with an airbrush. Um, so if you have a short coated dog and you don't think that this is gonna look great on that, I would use an airbrush. It's very temporary, but that's what I would use. Good girl pop. Oh, little paintbrush to the camera. Sorry. Sorry guys. Um, let's see, another thing to think about, if you're doing something like this, where you do want alternating colors, you typically don't want the colors to end up side by side. So plan that out. That's what I gotta say about that. Plan that out. All right. I am now going to switch to, what is that one? Charm pink, this light pink. That's what I'm switching to now. Um, this is absolutely gonna soak up that black because it is so light if I get close to it. Um, but I changed my plan and did that black spots in the middle. And so that's what I have to work with right now. We're almost done pop and then you can be done, I swear. Um, another thing, in my experience, like if I had all the time and a very still model, I would actually be doing the light pink first, the lighter colors first, or the colors that um, don't soak up the dye as well. You can sit, you wanna sit? That's fine, go for it. You're really not gonna ruin anything. Good girl, where's your treat? So green for me is a, is a, I have a hard time with greens. So when I'm doing a design that has green in it, that's the first color that I put on because I want that green to saturate and um, get as green as it can. But like, like I said, the black, pinks, purple, usually red, they all kind of go on. And, go ahead, go ahead, it's okay. It's okay. It's the poppiest poppy of them all. So I say that because light, this light pink, I just got some black in there. So I'm just gonna try to dab it a little bit more. So you guys, this color, I'm not gonna lie, is maybe not gonna come out like super perfect, but it is what it is right now. Um, this light color, if it does not sit for the full, it's gonna rinse a little bit lighter than this. So um, if it doesn't sit for the full time and really get to um, set into the hair, that's gonna rinse, that can rinse right out pretty quickly. So I would have chosen, <laughs> if I were doing this the way I planned on it for you originally, to do this color first. 
Um, I have a question for you. Sure. Okay. Have you done tie dyes? I have not done any tie dyes, but there are a lot of really cool tie dyes that I've seen. Um, I've not, I've not had somebody who wants that yet. I don't have a poodle myself, which I really should, because this is like my favorite thing on the planet to do. Um, I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback who is a show dog, so I can't color him, and um, and. I have a German Shepherd mix who's black, so that's that. That eliminates my possibilities. So I luckily got hooked up with um, Poppy and Poppy's mom, um, and she was lucky enough to let me do this. And my friend Joy had a poodle, um, and she loved dye, so she got dye all the time on the dogster. Um, and she's she was pretty flexible. I'm going to the semi-permanent. What's that? Shocking pink. Shocking pink, guys. So I hope we're all shocked. Hope we're all shocked. This is semi-permanent. I've actually never used the semi-permanent before. It's kind of got a little bit of a different texture. Um, go ahead. Good girl. Don't stick your face in there. Then you're gonna, your mom's going to get you back and be like, what did you do to my dog, lady? She's so done with this. Can you tolerate, like, just let me finish this? Can you? More treats. Oh, good girl. I'm just gonna be like a Pez dispenser right now, and I have a fistful of cookies. There's some patches of white in here, you guys. That's, I'm not gonna be picky right now because I just wanna get this on and off of her. And I'm squishing some black in, I'm not even gonna care about it. So remember how I told you guys to alternate so you don't end up with two of the same color? I'm in that problem right here because this is that first pink, so I can't put that there because this is also that, the light pink. I could maybe put the light pink, I'll just do that. All right. Think about that. When you're when you're putting um, color on things, that's alternating. I don't know if you guys watched uh, Nicole Beckman did a live video with Opaz on Sunday. I think it was Sunday, and she did um, that like you know those blue china plates with those cool designs in them. Usually like trees and little pagodas and stuff. She had a really cool design of that on Sunday. And if you go back and watch her live, if you haven't already, she did a tree. She did a, I guess it must've been like a little bonsai tree or something. Or maybe she, I think she said it was a willow tree. I don't know what kind of tree it was, it doesn't matter. But it had these like little balls, right? And she was doing three different colors of blue. And you really have to plan out like, okay, this ball's gonna be this color, this one's gonna be this color. Just make sure if you want it alternating that you have the right amount of number objects that you're filling with color before you do it and plan where it's going. She did that and it's just a very typical thing when you're like planning out a die that, that you want to make sure you're aware of that. Poppy's like, I've had it, lady. No, it's done, Pop. I'm not going to make you suffer for the other side tonight. Sorry, Taylor. You're getting half a die job. Come on. She won't care. Andrea suggested that you could use red in the areas where you were going to have a, a duplicate. I thought that too, but then it would only be that one that was red. You're getting a phone call. You're getting a phone call, guys. This could be exciting. Hopefully it's a cool message. Good girl. I 
trimmed up because I've never used it. It looks, when it when it's put on right now, it looks pretty close to that first thing, but I'm gonna assume that it's, it's gonna wash out a little bit differently. I, like I said, not usually use the semi-permanent dye. As far as what I've heard about the semi-permanent dye is the semi, the, the difference, correct me if I'm wrong, Opaz, I know you guys are listening. Um, the difference between it is A, how long it lasts. It's supposed to be more temporary, like it comes out in a quicker amount of washes. But also what I've heard is that um, the color itself when it's rinsed is not quite as potent a color. Like it's not quite as deep or vibrant as the permanent dyes. Um, so I don't know if that's right, guys. Andrea or Lynn, if you're listening, you guys can, you can share that information with everybody. If I'm wrong or confirm if I'm right so then I know Good girl. Andrea says yes the lasting time is different lasting time is different okay so maybe they're pretty close in um vibrancy so I'm just gonna go ahead and make oh you dropped one Poppy's pet dye everywhere She's like, give me that thing. What are we gonna do when the treats run out, guys? We're almost done. We That's can... the age-old question. We... Right. <laughs> what are we gonna do when the what treats are we run out? Do the treats <laughs> no pause. So we're we're getting some black streaks in here, and I am being a little bit careless about it. But you guys know why. If you've been watching, you know why. I don't think anybody on this group is judging me anyway. My favorite part is how like disgusting and shiny your hand is over here. It's awesome. <laughs> Get a close up of that. <laughs> this that is what is I keep awesome. you around for. <laughs> uh, someone asked, uh, do you wash that or, or does that stay in? The color that I'm applying gets washed out. Um, it, it, it gets rinsed and I'm gonna show you it. You're gonna, you're gonna come along for that ride too. Um, God, there's some white that's like really bothering me, but I'm not, I, I'm not gonna go back and do it. Okay, so she's done with the dye. This is what we're getting for the night. I'm going to take you to the tub room and you're gonna um, watch me rinse it out because I know that a lot of demos don't do that. Um, and I think people who don't do dye or don't do a lot of it wanna see that kind of process too. But right now, Poppy's just gonna get a break. Um, let her tennis ball or whatever she wants. Okay. Um, this is why you keep towels handy. Wow, you did that, Poppy. Nice work. I did. Look at those ball friends. Good girl. Like the ball? What do you want? Pop. It's right there. Pop. Nice catch, Pop. Nice catch. I love how poodles play. Um, so we kind of got a delay for like, it should be 25 minutes, but like I said, I really don't want to like, Push Poppy. I think she's going to be fine having a break right now. But I'm going to give it, let's give it till 6.30 and then I'll rinse it. And then some of the color rinses out and doesn't set quite as well. Oh well. Pop. I'll take her out for another potty break too. So you guys can hang out with me if you want for a little while. Or you can tune out Can you put a finished picture um, in yes. the group for people who can't stay all the way? Yes, absolutely. And another thing you can do, which I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put her through anything other than the rinsing and the drying. Um, but another thing that you can do is on flat tattoo designs like this, you can rinse the design out, dry the dog. I, I will go over it real quick with the seven, which is the this, which is the blade. You know, she's like, I don't want that tennis ball. You got treats in your hand, lady. Um, what was I saying? You can rinse out the dog, dry the dog. And then you can go over it with whatever blade you did. Pop, puppy. And just kind of like crisp it up. Also, you can like take your scissor and edge out the design. Even if it's just a teeny bit, it'll make it pop. Or if you have a Cremato or a Gregora or, you know, a Clipper, 
this is not a product demo of the note pause, but I will show you. If you have something little like this, um, I actually have a, I'll show you. <gasps> little thief, little oh, thief. Oh, sneaky snake over little here. Little sneaky snake. I have a little blade that goes, it's only got four little teeth on it, that goes on top of that, or change it out. That's a little tattoo thing, so it edges out really nice. Go around the edge, just kind of make your design pop a little bit with that. And um, it's made by Wall, if anybody cares. Vanessa says she used a puppy pad when she dyed her lab's tail and then some paper towels to protect her legs from smudge. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. Slather, whatever you can think of to, Do you think part of her like impatience on the table is because she's so young? Yeah. Also, she's young. Yeah, that's a good point. Did you just ask that or somebody asked that? I did. Pop. Yeah. Out of curiosity. She's, she's a year old. She, here, pop. She just turned a year. Here. She just turned a year. She's never had creative done. Um, she's also she's a, another groomer's dog, so she doesn't come here. She's this is her second time here. She came and met me. We got um, Taylor, Poppy's mom, Taylor, and I got introduced, I don't know, but actually last year, um, at some point at the end of last year. And originally I was asked to do um, a Christmas design or holiday design, and it just didn't work out timing wise and everything else, so we changed it to Valentine's Day. So Taylor came and brought Poppy here a couple weeks ago for the first time, and she just came in and she was with her the whole time. And, um, this is only her second time ever being here and only her second time ever meeting me. So she did today, she got, she was with me for three hours before I started the demo um, and she did get really comfortable. So she's coming to me, she's taking treats, she's hanging out, she's eating my plants, eating my dirt out of my plants. What else did you do? Played with the ball, ate cookies, she slept in the window, she barked at some people, she had a great day. She had a great day. accurate <laughs> non-stop action footage that's right non-stop action footage <laughs> <laughs> what else does anybody want to know anything else what, is, what else nobody has any questions it's a subdued group Sub subdued group do we still have like 50 people there's here? 37 right oh, now dwindling. we're losing attention with this it was the pee it was the outdoor it was the outdoor pee did it it, it was it was the no pee pee totally killed me <laughs> That's okay. But that's 37 quiet people. That's 37 quiet people. <laughs> that's right. That is right. <laughs> what else? I don't know what else I can tell you. Anybody have questions about creative grooming other than what I did today? That maybe I can answer for you. Emily, uh, Emily says she needs a shamrock on Hank. Are you taking new clients for creative? Hank, for Hank, yes. For Hank, you are. Oh, sweet Hank. I love it. Show Hank. Um, um, show Hank and put his picture in the comments so everybody can look it up. Cute he is. Someone asked, how long have you been doing creative grooming for? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know how long I've been doing creative grooming for. I would say, what year is it? I'm gonna say like I could be way off, guys. 
maybe five years. I went to, I, I saw it. I've, I've been um, grooming for 14 years. And I saw it, knew about it, and wanted to get into it. And I didn't really know how to get into it. Uh, and then I went to my local, I'm in Massachusetts, and my local grooming club is the New England Pet Grooming Professionals, NEPGP. And they do seminars every fall. Um, and I went to one of those seminars and they were offering an all day seminar on creative grooming with Don Omboy, which I'm sure you guys know. Um, and that was my first, like it was an all day thing, like I don't remember what the time was, but it was one of the all day ones on Friday. And just sitting there and watching like all the cool stuff that she did, I was, I was so excited to come back and try it. And actually, Emily, who has Hank, is going to show you Hank, if she does, if she listens. Um, she had a pug named Ditto at the time, and she let me do what was supposed to be leopard print on him um, to just try it, because I just didn't have a dog that I could try it on. And I thought it was the bomb. I was like, this is the greatest thing. I look at it now, and I'm like, that looks like I just put polka dots on the side of the dog. It looks like trash. But you have to start somewhere, right? So the more you do, the more practice you get. I kept going to those seminars. I would still go to those seminars, even if they tell me the same things over and over and over, and things that I already know. Who cares? It's fun. I love it. I love the people who do this. And you can always learn something new, or you always, if you hear some, you know, one other, a different creative groomer say something a little bit differently that might click with you that you didn't know before. But really, this is kind of the kind of thing that you, you don't know what you can do until you try it, and you got to keep practicing um, to get good at it. I have another question for you from Catherine. Sure. Do you do all designs freehand? Yeah, all my designs are freehand. The only thing that I have ever done that was stenciled, I'll show it to you. If I can get up, old lady. The only thing that I ever did that was stenciled, you don't have to go here. Was a airbrush. There's one left. I'm, I'm making it last, Bobby. We're saving that. Um, was an airbrush design because I wasn't super comfortable with the airbrush. It was the first time I tried the airbrush and I was nervous. So I, but I did make the stencil. So I used a stencil, but I made the stencil. So it was this dragon tattoo. So I just drew it on a manila folder, cut it out with an exacto knife, put it on the side of the dog, airbrushed it, and then I put a little red rhinestone for his eye. I can probably, if you want to see the final thing, I can find it and put it in the comments at the end of this. Um, but all of my things are freehand. I do a lot of Patriots logos. This is like my idea book before I had that really cool app that I just showed you. So here we go. This is what I do. I draw the dog. I'd be like, I'm getting a Jack Russell to die. So I draw the, de I draw the Jack Russell, which is not proportionate to a real Jack Russell at all. And I put the design on it. But that's kind of an example, but I'll show you a couple of things. Patriots logo, I, I just Google. If I have an idea or somebody has an idea that they want on their dog, she's making a mess of it. Okay. All right, well, let's rinse it, let's rinse it. Somebody had asked, how long are you gonna leave it before you I'm rinse not, it? I'm not gonna leave it, I'm just gonna rinse it, guys. We're making a mess. Um, David Fleming wants to know, how long is the product active that you have mixed up already? Oh, Emily says she begs your pardon about her dog looking like trash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to interrupt the answer. Okay. For... <laughs> oh, you can get in? Hey, girl. Ah. So, yeah, David had asked how long the product was active. I don't know. Okay. I, I'm going to let Opa's answer that. Let's just say, at least for me, I would not pour it into the... I wouldn't try to use it again. I think it's good for as long as you're dying that one thing. I wouldn't like try to use it again tomorrow. That's what the next question was. Do you throw away the stuff that's on the tray? Away. I throw it away. Yeah, I rinse it out and throw it away. Okay. So we're gonna rinse this. All right, start at the bottom because as soon as this hits, 
it's gonna just pour out. Like, this is all black smudge. It's okay, guys. I'm not sad about it. Um, but this stuff happens because I just let it run around like that. Like, if, oh, excuse you. Wow. Wow. Nice burp. Um, if you have a design, though, start rinsing from the bottom before because if you just hit the water like this, it's just gonna all pour. It's gonna you're gonna be freaked out if you've never done it before. <laughs> also, if you're doing something on a leg, start at the bottom. You're gonna rinse it until it runs clear. And like, if you look, it's getting on some of her, that's gonna all rinse out, don't worry about it. You're okay, babe. I would never do anything to hurt you. It's water. Don't lie to me, you're a groomer's dog, pal. So see, I haven't even hit any of that stuff that's at the top. Poppy, poppy. That's crazy. You're okay. You're okay. If it splashes around, just make sure you get it off. You're fine, Poppy, you're fine. <laughs> Taylor's probably watching this thing like, oh my God, my dog is not behaving. <laughs> you're okay, you're gonna talk about it? <laughs> you're okay, Poppy. like a bloody pop out, but it's just done. She stepped in it. Wendy wants to know if that's cold water. Um, it's cool water. It was cool at the beginning, and now I added a little bit more heat to it, because I think that's what her problem was. She was like, that's too way too cool. But you do want to try and rinse it quickly, but you do want to try and rinse it with cool water. As cool as they'll tolerate. Alright, so like this is not coming off now, right? So this is pretty well rinsed. I'm just for the sake of being thorough. I'm just like rinsing extra. Oh, here's the, um, I was ready to do the funky color shampoo. This is what it looks like, guys. That's the funky color pink shampoo, which is what, if she was having an okay time, I would have done that to her in sleep, but she's not into it. All right, so remember how I got some black when I was uh, putting the color on? I got some black in the pink. That's kind of what that little brownish spot is. Alright, so when you think that you've rinsed it all, and it looks like everything's running clear, and then you stop. This happens to me, I love the Opaz Red, but this happens to me with the Opaz Red specifically. You stop and then all of a sudden, sometimes you see a little bit of drip. It's not happening right now. But you're not done rinsing if that happens. So, if there's any little bit of residual, which there might be, you can do the shampoo over it. It doesn't really matter what kind of shampoo. I have Hydra, I'll tell you what this is. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it doesn't really matter. It's a Hydra shampoo. I think it's a moisturizing one. And I'm just gonna really quick go over this spot 
and see if there's anything that's coming off. Which, a little teeny bit, but nothing crazy. Um, Adriana wants to know how old, how old Poppy is. Poppy's a year old. Oh, see, can you guys see that? It's a little pink. It's hard to tell. But right there, it was a little pink. So there was a little bit of drama still coming up. Um, Poppy's a year old. She just checked it here in January. Okay. So now remember at the beginning of this, I told you not to condition the dog before you apply the dye. So we did not do that. We are going to do that now. So I just rinse that as good as I can. There's white spots in it. Like I told you, I'm not going to worry about it. It's imperfect, but it is very cute. And I think Poppy's going to like it. And I just put the conditioner right over the design. Just want to seal the color in as best as you can. This won't, once it's all rinsed out and everything, you guys, this is, this kind of dye does not rub off on your furniture and stuff at home. If you've never used it, if you can see this, apply it properly, let it sit, rinse it out, put conditioner on it afterwards, that's when it's, it's not going to come off on anything. Poor pot is so sad. She stepped in that here too. A little red. All right, I'm not giving her like an all over bath. And I'm not gonna, I will dry that spot for you guys, but I will dry the rest of her and finish her off camera, so I'm not wasting your time. But I am going to, even though I only dyed that side, I am going to flip her around. And just make sure there's nothing that, um, rinsed up. There's no color that rinsed over the side of a dog onto this side or onto these feet. Which is good, so we're good. Squeeze her out. Alright. Adriana wants to know if she is a standard poodle. She's a standard poodle, yes. Um, when I get to, oh, you have my phone. If Taylor's still listening, she can tell you where she got her from if you want. I believe she said somewhere in New York, but I can't remember the company. Kind of <laughs> Superman. All right. <laughs> it's zooming time. You got the zoomies. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hooray. Hooray for me, you know what, dog? That's cute. Okay, so this towel that had dye all over it, I'm not putting her back on that. So you can watch Poppy for a second and change a new towel. Mm. She's in total pink mode. She's like, no, that was too much, Lady. I don't know you that long. <laughs> Do not make the mistake of putting this on your next client, who is a white Bichon who did not want creative.
a minute, you guys aren't going to be able to hear anything, but I'm just going to get it dry enough so I can show you how to finish it off. There you go. It's all cleaned up. And if you wanted to... can use your clipper like this or a regular clipper blade. I just like these because they're handier. They fit my hand better like for detail. You can just kind of go and edge out the sides like these little overhangs or, or like I could get off this little bit of brown that kind of seeped in. You can also, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I do want to just kind of show you. Um, oops, that's not the scissor. Even though she's short, you can still, like, you know, cut a little bit of this. Fur off there, right? And make it kind of a, more of a straight line if you really want to get detailed about it. I'm not going to go through, like I said, like, oh, well, here, like, here's the pink is overhanging on the black. I just do a little bit of that. Just make it a little bit of a sharper line. I'm not gonna go through and do the whole thing because she's totally had it. Um, does anybody have any more questions that Poppy could answer for you? This is all just hair, guys. Just bleed over, just so you know. I'll give it a second for more questions or any comments. I'm not really gonna do it because I, I like I said, but you can just kind of dab it, or you can use the edge and go like that. Just firm up that line. No questions. Dale says thank you. It was very informative. Awesome. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Man down. Man down, guys. <laughs> it's, been very, it's been a very nice live video. Amanda does have a question. Oh, sure. Um, are the blades able to be sharpened or just replaced? Well, you have to ask Walt, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe your sharpening guy can sharpen them too. I don't know. Um, one last one. Sure. How do you deal with someone who might be disappointed that their dog isn't a great candidate for creative? 
Well, I don't know. I probably just exp make sure that they know what you're about before you start. So like we here are, she can run around with me too. We're a fear-free grooming salon. So um, positive methods, lots of treats, moving as, as close as we can to what the dog needs from us um, and not forcing them into things. If they are a good client who knows that and understands that um, you're always gonna put the dog first and they know you, as your groomer, they should not be very disappointed. But if they are, they're probably not. The, they're probably not a good client for you. Um, well, I tell. I probably tell them to go find somebody else. That's what I would do. And like lately, they're going to tell them the same thing. So, anything else? Any other questions? All kinds of compliments on the dad job. Oh, cool. Thanks, guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you learned something from it. Poppy's gagging. Did you get a little hairball? The final hurrah is going to be a puke. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> that could be. Oh, let's wait it out. Let's wait it out. Let's see if we're going to end this way. I you okay, not. love? I hope not, Poppy. You okay? You want to be? You okay, my love? questions you can feel free to find me on Facebook you can friend me on Facebook or if you want to find my grooming page it's the soggy doggy spell it this way you can show them the sign s-o-g-g-i-e d-o-g-g-i-e we have a Facebook page we are in Norwood Massachusetts and I also have an Instagram of the same with um, I think underscores in between the words so find us there you can ask me any questions anytime happy to help thanks for joining See ya.